the tentacles of this this predator it just was far reaching because when you go to the police they say you don't have any evidence of violence sentí que tenía agencia y poder entonces fui a la policía quise poner una denuncia pero me dijeron que no tenía evidencia de violencia física none of the, the coaches that we had they didn't protect us I was only eight when the assaults began. These treatments will help you, said that doctor man. 850 treatments and still I didn't know. I thought it was normal because he told me so. Latin America has a big problem with femicide. Andrea was found on April 29. It was actually my daughter's birthday that day. Two days later, another woman was found killed horribly as well so the media kind of changed and kind of left the injustice of andrea's case because we all know the person who killed andrea was her ex-partner but also the system didn't protect her didn't believe her re-victimized her so many times i would like people to relate to the emotions because some people say I cannot relate to what happened to you because I have never been in such an experience. But I don't want people to suffer sexual abuse to relate to me because what I want people to feel is how it is to feel shame, how it is to feel isolated, how it is to feel blame, how it is to heal with other survivors, how it is to feel love from other survivors, how it is to feel solidarity among survivors. They can, people can relate to those emotions. They don't need to be uh, sexually abused to relate. I want people to know, first of all, that if you are a victim of any kind of sexual abuse, it's not your fault. It's not my fault, it's not your fault, it's not my fault, it's not my fault, it's not your fault. I didn't deserve it, you didn't deserve it, we didn't deserve it. I hope that people go back home knowing, feeling that they can get close to the arts and that arts are a path for healing. I'm hoping that people can hear me and hear my story just in poem and I don't have to talk to them in words. If I was to wrap up what this play, and there's one thing I think about all the time, is completing the wheel of what survivors look like. And as I'm telling this story today, and I was like, you know, at every aspect from the director and dancers and actors and, you know, composer, every piece to this puzzle is a survivor. The thing about the dance and the music and the singing and the storytelling, it, uh, it helps you drop your guards so that you're not afraid to listen, you're not afraid to receive, that you can receive everything, you can share everything, you can talk about anything and everything. I can't change what happened to me, but now you're all my family. And we can stand up for other survivors. I'll fight for my life. I'll fight for you too. We do this for the people whose lives we say that we will never know.